Okay, so today we're going to be working on the kids Adirondack chair. Uh, we're going to make our first one out of pine. We do have some uh, PVC that we're going to make some out of too for outdoor use. So let's go ahead and mark out the rough cuts first, the uh, rough length cuts, uh, which are on page two of the plans. I'm going to measure your, your rough dimension and then leave about a quarter inch for the blade and then make a mark and we'll cut that and we'll cut all our rough dimension first and then we're going to go back and mark our uh, pieces out our individual pieces that have curves so we'll mark those out after we cut all of our rough dimension cuts point to this point right yep so we go like that and then uh, we can flip this around and use it like that I'm surprised this that's not a perfect 45 but okay it's just decorative that's all it's there for. all right and there's those the two supports that we need to so they could be squares I'm going to cut these with the bandsaw first because they're going to be much easier and then I'll chop it with the, because uh, it's easier to hang onto a big piece of wood than it is a little, than a little tiny well. piece. Yeah, once it gets small, then I can't really hang on to it. Okay. So we'll cut these rips with the bandsaw and then we'll use the chop saw to chop it and then we'll cut this angle. Okay, so we marked out we marked out the back piece and the bottom seat piece, and we're gonna we're gonna rip the curve. If you have a bandsaw, you can use a bandsaw, or you can do this uh, by hand with a jigsaw. Now we have to clean it up. Okay, we got all our rough pieces cut. And now we're gonna uh, cut our angles with the jigsaw or the handsaw. And then we will uh, sand them and clean them all up. Hey Grace, what are you guys doing? We're going to 
to start assembling now. Uh, we'll grab the two legs and the support piece. Okay, so we measured back eight inches from the tip. <coughs> measured back eight inches from the tip. And we're going to put in our support piece. We're going to mark, uh, we're going to mark out where we're going to pre-drill. So let's go ahead and pre-drill it. <clears throat> With a countersink bit, we're going to pre-drill them and they'll line up looking like that. <clears throat> so the heads sit down in there. We'll leave a link in the description below for the bit. Uh, We'll do it on the bench. <clears throat> you want to grab that? So we're just going to go straight down now. You ready to do the next one? Okay, so we line up our eight inch mark, our eight inch mark. If you don't have clamps, you could put this up against something flat uh, and uh, drill it that way. It's much easier to clamp it together. Uh, I'm gonna grab a screw and a gun. Yeah. What's the first thing you check? Leg. Gauge. Strength. Mm -hmm. Strength, yeah. Yep, a clutch setting. So <clears throat> make sure the clutch setting is very low because we don't want to drive this thing in here deep. Oh, we're going to pre drill first. So we're going to pre drill, now that it's clamped, we're going to pre drill this cross member. We're going to try to, hopefully, we can get in there without. Okay, pre drill. And we'll put a screw in here, and then we'll flip it around and do the same to the other side. And the support piece done. We're gonna do the side supports now. These are gonna go like this. You can uh, push down on the tails there. There you go. Push down on the tails and set this up so you can get the you can get the right distance with this. Okay. So for the front piece, we're just gonna plane down a slight angle on it just so it uh, matches the first seat board uh, and we're just going to use our little hand plane if not you could just use a sander you could sand it down uh, or whatever you have bevel on this so that it lines up on line with the seat piece when it uh when we put the seat piece on there so we should just be able to put this on flush is that good so that is the less 
lesson for the day. What is? Don't pre-drill those. You can't pre-drill these because you can't get the drill in here with the side pieces on. Uh, uh yeah, just nice face. <laughs> it's together. Okay, so, so let's put all the seat things in. Um, doesn't touch it. Nope, doesn't matter. Just give me a good one. So, about a eighth. Uh, use that as spacing. And then we'll go ahead and pre-drill. And then Noah can put in the screws. that far and drill mm -hmm. so there's your that's your mark right there so then we will we'll drill here and here mm -hmm. same thing over here Okay, so we're, we need to be three eighths in and five eighths from the end. So we set up this little two pieces of plywood and we'll, we'll set this up flush and we'll set it up uh, even with this. And we can drill our pieces. Just pre-drilling with a small bit. Okay, so this goes underneath, right? No, from the bottom. Okay, so we got our bevels cut. 
we're looking pretty good there now and now we just need to uh, adjust the spacing and countersink our holes here put our screws in unless you're using nails then just go ahead and nail it in uh, you can kind of just space them however you like uh, we just kind of fan them out okay we're going to uh, pilot drill down from the top and then we'll countersink from the bottom and set our uh, boards in place uh, so our four, first board we're going to set kind of up against the up against the arm rail here and it should land pretty even with this side leg so basically we just want to drill a hole right there on line we want to try to stay on line with our board because you want to be on like the perfect angle so it goes up into the back piece mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna keep this online, keep the drill online with the back. our 5 8 spacer Said perfect, perfect. Looks pretty good. I heard something crack. All right. What do you think? I think it's nice. I think it's nice. Looks really new. Alright, I think it looks pretty good. Looks like a comfy chair. Hey, Nathaniel, you ready to see your new Adirondack chair? Alright, let's test it out. Go ahead. Can you sit in it? How is it? Is it good? Did you need another one? Okay. Do you want to try another chair? Okay. You like that one? Thumbs up. Yeah. Good chair. Is that a good chair?